In this short video, we'll take a look at some of the new and innovative features of this new Tektronix 5 Series MSO. Some of these features are just new to Tektronix, while others are brand new features that have never been seen in scopes before. One of the first things that you notice is that the scope can be configured with up to eight channels. And these channels do not share sample rate, they do not share record length. So essentially every channel can be configured up to 2 GHz of bandwidth with as much as 125 mega samples per channel. While there have been eight channel scopes done in the past, they've never been done quite like this. These channels are what are called flex channels. They're ordinary uh, analog input channels, uh, 50 ohm termination up to 2 GHz of bandwidth, as well as a 1 mega ohm termination to use with things like passive probes. You can also use active probes and things like that. But by plugging in a TLP 058 logic probe, we can turn any one of the inputs into essentially an 8 channel logic input with each of the logic thresholds on each of the eight inputs adjustable between plus and minus 40 volts. So now you've got the flexibility of making any one of these channels an 8-bit digital channel or an analog channel. So it gives you the flexibility of going anywhere from eight analog inputs to 64 digital inputs on the same scope. Another standout feature is this 15.6 inch capacitive multi-touch high definition display with 1920 by 1024 pixels of resolution. This kind of resolution adds a lot of capability to what can be done with this display. Even simple things like adding horizontal and vertical graphical labels make it a lot easier to interpret what's going on on the screen. Each time a new channel is added to the display, it gets a new slice in the graphical. Now this allows you to adjust the vertical settings for each channel to maximize the use of the 12-bit converter without having all the waveforms overlaid on top of each other. And of course if you like to or want to overlay the waveforms you can simply change the display view from stacked to overlaid. And this gives you the traditional view of all the waveforms on the same graphical. We'll note also that all of these display dialogues that pop up here can all be removed and repositioned and they're all semi-transparent so you can see a little bit of what's going on on the display behind them so nothing ever is ever hidden from view. The multi-touch screen allows you to control things like vertical scale and horizontal scale simply by dragging your fingers on the screen. The measurement system's got some interesting capabilities as well. Let's add, say, a rise time measurement to this waveform. And that shows up as a badge over on the side here. If we double tap that badge, we can go and configure some various things, such as showing the statistics within here. And there's a lot of other things we can do uh, in terms of doing things like clock recovery, setting the reference levels, uh, setting the gating, and all of these things can be set globally to apply to all measurements or locally to apply to that particular measurement. Now these measurements are actually done on every edge in that record. So in fact, if we stop this and tap on the measurement badge, I can actually scroll through and look at each individual edge and what that measurement was, or find the minimum or the maximum of that measurement within the record. We can add as many measurement badges as we like uh, by simply selecting the ones that are desired and they will appear in the measurement badge area. If there's one you added that you don't want, you can simply take it, drag it to the trash bin, and it goes away. A result table for all the measurements can be added. and We can change the bias of that uh, with respect to the waveform display. Now for each of the measurements, additional plots can be added as well, uh, such as a time trend of that measurement a histogram of that measurement, and even a spectrum of that measurement. So it will give you a lot of insight to what's going on with your measurements over time and frequency. And of course the position and orientation of each of these plots can be moved around at will so you can decide what you want your display to look like. Each channel features a 12-bit converter and in high resolution sample mode as sample decimation goes up we can get as much as 16 bits of vertical resolution. One question that might come up, does this scope run an embedded operating system like low-cost benchtop instruments, or does it run Windows like the higher-cost uh, performance scopes? And the answer is either. You can have the scope power up like this one is in the embedded Linux operating system, which is essentially closed and just powers up as a scope. Or you can get an optional hard drive that goes into this door down on the bottom that would allow the scope to boot and run Windows 10. And that's going to allow the ability to add some more advanced uh, measurement and analysis capabilities to the scope. So I hope this short video has given you some insight into some of the new and interesting and unique capabilities of the new 5 Series MSO from Tektronix.